What's up guys, Barry Gaming here again with more Idol Heroes Flame Shrine action. Last time we did the uh, the testing with Garudas and Terras. Today though, what we're going to do is go back to the scary lineup. I know the height right now is Terra. You'll see a little bit more about him later today, but uh, you should have just seen scaries at Broken Spaces. I wanted to get a good uh, benchmark for what our damage was like now with the Auras, and I want to do the same thing with Flame Shrine. We have Faith Blade up as you saw yesterday. Uh, the one big difference now is we have the aura system in place. We want to see what that means for our damage. The other difference is we now have another Kiss of Ghosts. So we are up to three Kiss of Ghosts on our scaries. Really want to see the type of damage we can do. We're going full red enables because you really don't need Purify on Faith Blade. But uh, yeah, I want to jump into it. Let's see how much damage we can do and can compare it to our previous videos. I think we have like two other Faith Blade Flame Shrine uh, videos at least up on uh, on our YouTube. So we'll kind of compare it to the to the old way. And before we even talk about anything else, let's just jump right into it. Okay, here we go. Let's jump in here. Yeah, all you are getting replaced. So you just so you know, slot three is going to be the one with the Punisher. The other three have Kiss of Ghost. We have this amazing aura benefit now that we never used to get. It's just amazing that we get this. So uh, let's just make sure Phoenix is right. Good to go. Let's jump on in and see what type of damage we can do. And as always, let's hope Death Sworn dies super fast, gets the burn on the enemies, but does not take any Phoenix buffs. As I say that, he gets a Phoenix buff. <laughs> Come on, guys. Take that take that Death Sworn out. We don't need him. There we go. All right. Death Sworn's down and out. Ooh. I just realized I'm actually rendering another video right now, so it's kind of causing some frame drops on a recording. So after this round, we'll take a pause. I'll come back to it. We'll make sure we get the better quality video up for you guys. Sorry about that. Didn't even think about it. I'm just trying to get so much done for you guys today. All right, got a big old round of actives here. Ooh, that is some good damage. All right, Phoenix active. We'll have one big burst. Oh, that was really good damage right there. All right, we have one active here as well. Oh, 648. And this next round, we'll have two more. Oh, that oh, 1.2 billion on two different targets. That's amazing. We'll have a Phoenix buff and one more scary attack. He got the buff, I believe, so... Let's see what this third one does. Oh, 1.3 and 1.2 billion. Oh, I think that was really good damage, guys. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a new record for sure. I think our previous record was like 21 billion, something like that. 20, what was that? 26.3 billion damage. Look at this scary. That is crazy. And of course, you see the lowest damage out of all of them is that... uh. That Punisher, Staff of Pun Punisher of Immortal. All these three have Kiss of Ghost. It is, oh, that armor break is amazing since we don't run Sigma and we run Death Sworn for the burn buff instead to give us the maximum benefit from our Phoenix active buff. So um, I'm going to take a quick break. Let's finish rendering that other video and we'll jump back and do the, our last three attempts. Okay, guys, we are back. Sorry about that. Not sure how that first fight's going to come out quality wise at least me watching it live looked like we were dropping a lot of frames so anyway let's jump right back into it not waste any time see if we can do even better damage numbers it's already amazing with this new aura and the kiss of ghost is just shredding these faith blades apart this is a really good example for those who don't understand how good armor break is in this game. You used to not need things like Kiss of Ghosts as much before the Phoenix pet came out because everybody would use Wolf. And Wolf gave you that native armor break. Not all, not 100%, but gave you some armor break where it didn't it made it so kiss of ghost wasn't such a huge buff. Now that everybody for PvE uses Phoenix, 
you need that armor break it, and you can see the difference in damage yes critting is very very important so if you do have punisher staffs they are very very good you need them but if you do have kiss a ghost they are gonna far outweigh performance of uh the punisher immortal in pve the only other difference that your other different item you can try is a class artifact sadly i don't have any assassin on this account for some reason like not even one i have mage warrior priest everything but i don't have assassin once i do we will test that out for comparison as well but uh, that was some really good damage in those late rounds there sorry i kind of talked over we'll watch this one last active right here oh three billion pretty much right there in that last round i feel like this is going to be a good round for us Eh, 25 this one slacked off oh look at that see this is where i like to say this one here using the punisher staff overall performance will be i guess you could say more consistent because scariest damage heavily relies on critting kiss a ghost though has a higher maximum capability so if they do manage to crit with the lower crit chance they will outperform him but as you can see we probably had some really bad crit chances there where we just missed out on those really important crits in the late rounds that drastically lowers our damage but if they would have crit they would have done more the other thing that you have to remember that will kind of skew your damage numbers and, and might confuse you sometimes is it really depends on where these phoenix buffs land every phoenix buff hits four of your targets and gives them 80 percent more damage that stacks so if one scary gets hit with only two of those in one fight and the other three get hit with all four just for an example those are definitely going to do more damage I mean, you can have the possibility of doing like 320% more damage in the late round. So I really wish this game had something like a MMO's damage meter that you could look and see where your damage was coming from. But uh, as you see, this, this Force Scary I think is going to do pretty poorly because he is not getting hit with any of the Phoenix actives. It's something to remember and it, it does make the game a little a little harder to figure out exactly what works the best but overall you, you kind of have to just pump the numbers out do a bunch of tests and finally see how it comes out for you ooh that's a lot of non critting there I don't think this is gonna be a very good round for us here yeah 1 billion and then you can see the difference 1 billion versus like 200 million it's, it's a huge difference in damage yeah, this one's really low, it seems like. Yeah, two, 21 billion, not good. But as you see, just from what I was like, just looking at that fight, this scary did not get hit with the Phoenix heals, which technically we still don't know if the heal on that target means they also get the damage buff. There's just so many hidden things in this game that they don't explain. It makes it really hard to teach people what's going on but just my guesstimate that last scary barely got hit with those 80 percent phoenix buffs so he might have had maybe one stack at the end that's why this one did so poorly versus the other ones it does make it hard when you're testing because you're looking at so many different things enable setup artifact setup stone setups and then on top of that you have to watch and see where the phoenix hit so we'll actually go through this one watch very closely to see if we can get that correlation going all right so it looks like these two scaries got hit with the buff as long as well as heart watcher and death sworn not good for us but so far these two have one stack of the phoenix buff we'll get another one here Okay, so these three here. So these two have two. This one has one. The top one, again, has zero Phoenix buffs so far. We'll slow this down in the later rounds just to make sure we don't miss anything really here. But we'll get another Phoenix buff here. Okay, so that hit these two. So just so you know, this one has three. This one has one. This one and this one have two, I believe. I think. <laughs> it was getting a little hard to keep track here, but... 
so far the top one should have the least amount of stacks with the slot five scary having the most okay yeah definitely this one here the the slot technically slot five i feel like should do the most just based off the buffs we're seeing so let's slow this down watch some actives not bad oh that was a real you see the difference in damage it was like 150 million more on the crit and they both crit all right last round here see even that we have more scary marks built up is i i feel like this one's gonna take the win just because you watch the phoenix buffs that was a really really bad round but see right here slot five scary did so much more damage because of those phoenix actives it, it makes such a difference and this one right here fell off towards the end i think he only had two stacks and these two had three it really makes a difference so i'm hoping at least you guys can understand a little bit more about why damage fluctuates so much between the scaries on here just as a quick recap try to try to make it so it's easy to understand for a very complex topic a it comes down to what artifacts you have on them that is huge because if you have a higher crit rate you're going to be more consistent but if you have something like kiss of ghosts you have a higher potential damage number chances of getting it is lower because you have a lower crit chance but you have that higher top tier peak of damage to hit if you get lucky and then the second item here b is that the phoenix actives matter very very much Depending on where those Phoenix buffs land, you will see a significant dam difference in damage. And I, even watching those last couple rounds there, they pretty much crit the exact same amount of times on the same targets. But the crits from this one was so much bigger because it had, I think, what's that? Three? 240% more damage buff from the Phoenix. So... 240% more damage than this scary against burning targets, which, side note, that's why you have the Death Sworn that leaves a burn on the target for every round of the fight. I know it's confusing. If you guys do have questions or comments, drop them below. Uh, I'll try to address them. It, it is a kind of complex target to, to get a grasp on for, uh, for anybody new especially. There's a lot of mechanics in this game that are not spelt out right. Heck, even the, the Phoenix buff, the way it describes it, it makes it sound like it leaves a burn for three rounds. But in reality, the Phoenix only burns targets for one round. That's why you need a Death Sworn, a Sigmund, something like that. I hope I wasn't too long-winded. I hope I wasn't too confusing for you guys either. Trying to be educational while seeing those giant, giant damage numbers. But uh, we'll have one more day tomorrow. We'll, we'll do a few more attempts. Might throw Terra back in there to give him a try again as well. Just to see. Maybe we'll throw him with the, uh, the scary. See what he does. Just so the fights aren't long, long, long. But hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it was a little bit educational for you as well. And we'll see you guys in the next one.